Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to your girl cooking with Tammy. Today we're gonna to be making cheeseburger sliders. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's introduce our ingredients and get started. As you can see up front, we have our ground beef and this is ground chuck. We also have some salt as well as ground black pepper, some steak seasoning, we have our cheese, and of course, when it comes down to the cheese, use your favorite type of cheese, whether it be Gouda, pepper jack cheese, American cheese, cheddar cheese, and so on and so forth. We also have some brioche mini buns sitting in the back, and with all of that being said, it's time to get to cooking. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands nice and messy. We're gonna take some of our ground meat, and of course, we're making mini sliders, and we have about six buns. Now the proportion all depends on how much you are gonna be working with. We're just gonna take it, mold it in our hands just like that, back and front. And we're just gonna place it right here just like that. Even though we're making mini sliders, sometimes the buns are different sizes. They are small, but you have some that's a little smaller than the other and some that's a little bit bigger. But there's still many. <laughs> so we're just gonna make it to accommodate the size of our buns. This part right here should take no time whatsoever. And of course, universal recipe. Wouldn't be cooking with Tammy if it wasn't universal, right? So of course, if you wanna use turkey, or should I say ground turkey or ground pork to make your sliders? You definitely can. You certainly can. Put the other one right here, squeeze it in there. Move over. Okay, perfect. To the pan, I've added a little avocado oil, and the reason being is because the beef that I'm using is not, it doesn't have a high content of fat. Now, if you're using beef with a high fat content, you're not gonna need the oil, so omit the oil. First burger up. Gonna place the second one right here. And we're not gonna overcrowd the pan. Just like that. And right now, our flame is on medium heat. Just like that, we're gonna hit it off with a little salt, not too much, just like that. Add it to each burger. Once we're done, we're gonna hit it off with a little bit of freshly cracked ground black pepper. Yes, we are. Hit it off, hit it off, hit it off, hit it off. Yes, these burgers are gonna be amazing. Once we're done, to amp up the flavors even more, we're gonna add some of our steak seasoning. Yes, we are. Add that steak seasoning. Add enough, but don't add too much. Boom, 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 just like that. Mm -hmm. Now, once we're done adding our seasonings, our flame is on medium heat. We're gonna allow our burgers to fry before flipping it over. As you can see, we're getting those little brown crispy edges along the sides of the burger. So that's my indication right there to flip it on over. And yep, this is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna season the other side as well. We're gonna hit it off with that kosher salt. Yes, we are. Make sure every patty has a little bit of salt on top. And we're also gonna go in and hit it off with our ground black pepper as well. And our steak seasoning. And we're gonna allow it to cook on the other side as well. Now here's the thing, on medium heat, I am gonna cook these burgers for about three and a half to four minutes on each side or until it reaches my desired preference. However, there's people that like their burgers rare, medium rare, well done, so on and so forth. So the cooking time depends on how you prefer your burger. 
everything is looking perfect so far our burgers are gonna be nice and tender you see that bounce back right there <laughs> perfect indication that our burgers are gonna be nice and tender bouncing back like hydraulics what <laughs> i'm gonna drain off some of this excess oil right here in the pan we're gonna flip our burgers over one more time because i want it cooked all the way through now here's the thing, cooking it all the way through doesn't mean you're gonna have a dry burger. Trust me, I'm telling you, I'm the burger expert. It's not gonna be dried. However, it's just gonna be cooked all the way through. You know what I mean? That's just how I like my burgers, all right? With that being said, what we're gonna do is we're about to get these burgers ready. Ready for what? We're gonna get it ready for that cheese. Yes, we are. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add that cheese to our burgers. And of course, you can add American cheese, pepper jack cheese, gouda cheese, cheddar cheese, provolone cheese, cheese cheese, whatever cheese you wanna add, you name it, you add it, all right? Whatever your favorite is. But because these are mini sliders and I want like an entire slice of cheese, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half and just tear it and just basically make it accommodatable for our sliders, yes I am, just like that. So now what are we gonna do? We're just gonna have this cheese just sitting here? No, we want our cheese to be nice and melted. So here's a tip and trick. We're gonna add some water to the pan. Yes, we are. We're not gonna add a lot of water to submerge the burgers. Of course we're not. But we're just gonna add enough water, right? To create what's called a steam effect. Yes, we are. And we're gonna cover it on down and we're gonna lower the heat, lower the heat. And we're gonna allow our cheese to melt in about, let's say 30 seconds to a minute. We're gonna remove the lid and boom, look at what we have, absolute perfection. Our cheese is melted and it's about time for us to get these brioche buns prepared. So what I did was I went ahead and placed it in the microwave for about 20 to 40 seconds, got it nice and soft, pulled out my serrated bread knife out of the pantry. This is gonna make the cutting process so much easier. And we're gonna slice into our brioche buns, just as I'm doing, just like that, just like that. And we're gonna hit our bread off with some cheese, Mexican style shredded cheese. Now, of course, you could add cheddar cheese, whatever you wanna add, absolutely your preference, but we're gonna hit it off with some shredded cheese. And it's a little easier when you hit it off with the shredded cheese because it melts faster. Yes, it does. And once our bread is covered in cheese, mm -hmm, we're gonna take our mini sliders and we're gonna place it onto our buns. Yes, we are. And look at how gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And everything looks amazing. We're gonna make enough room we are gonna take the top part of the buns, we're gonna cover it on over. Because these burgers right here, they're gonna be perfect. They're not gonna be too salty, they're not gonna be under seasoned. And I can guarantee you the meat is gonna be what? Nice and juicy, you hear me? Nice and juicy, and it's gonna be delicious. We're just gonna take it all in at this point in time and it's about that time to share yes it is you guys come on in and grab a burger and get to eating all right look at this little mini burger how cute how gorgeous but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna stage it we're gonna place it onto our plate make it look really good if you want to stick a toothpick in the middle you sure can you know give it the little mini slider effect so to speak put those condiments along the side of the plates, whether it be, let's see, um, ketchup, mustard, whatever you like to eat on your burgers, whether it be grilled onions and so on and so forth. And once we're done staging it on our plate and making it look good, we are gonna eat these burgers. Yes, we are. I'm gonna break the burger and show you exactly what I mean when I tell you these burgers are gonna be juicy and tender as we break it apart as we break it apart you can see those juices running out of our burgers and you can't tell me that this is not it right here and as you can see our burgers are cooked all the way through but it still has the ultimate juiciness yes it does anyway guys these burgers they taste absolutely delicious omg and with all of that being said i'm your girl cooking with tammy and i will catch you guys in what another video until next time enjoy 
talk to you later. Bye, guys.